I just hope we don't run into the games as a service system where everything has to have a subscription model or everything is designed to just be constantly like, um, not pay to win, but like, uh, what's a good example of a, well, I mean, honestly, like Warframe. I have time in my life for may one, maybe two games like Warframe. After that, not really a whole lot of interest. In oh, uh, play the arcade machine. Is there an arcade machine in here? There's some ammo. Not that. There's an arcade machine in here. I am blind. You mean like Path of Exile? Yeah. Path of Exile isn't so bad. Like, Warframe and Path of Exile aren't so bad, but they're just so long. Um... And so, yeah, seriously, is there an arcade machine in here, or is it out in the main room? It's on the computer screens. Uh, in the back lab? This one. Doom. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming it's just match three. Yep, it's match three. I have not played a match three game in ages. We might, um... Okay, so I have X number of moves here. Well, this is this is just gonna take some time. I uh, okay, I managed to do that one right. I'm things are happening. I don't know how. Let me see. I might as well do this one. Uh, let's see. So I could move this guy around. But I was hoping I could, like, chain them together, because I don't think you can, uh, just flip things around freely. I guess I can do that. Well, that worked. Okay, there's a group of four. Just tons of explosives. Uh, let's see. You here? I... <laughs> I think this is quite possibly my favorite match three game I have ever, I have ever seen. It's just like, congrats, you made the match. Everything explodes. There we go. That's that's a good feeling. I don't know if you can match the barrels. I'm trying to avoid doing so, just because it doesn't seem like... Uh, it, it seems like they kind of just explode based on proximity more than anything else. Let me see. As efficient as possible. But maybe the point is I'm not actually supposed to be uh, efficient here. Maybe I'm actually just supposed to be maximizing barrel... barrel placement. Can I try it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I can I can match barrels. So what I really should be doing is just chaining barrels like nobody's business. Instead of matching the uh, the smaller ones. Let's see, I only have three moves left. Not much for it. Move him here. I'm trying to extend as many barrels in, but I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm going to be able to manage much. And that's okay. Honestly, uh, this was fun. Well, I am somewhere in here. Oh! Wait, <laughs> Olivia Pierce had 9 million points. ID Mom, DJ, K Cloud, RGL, RPA Duffy, Shale Vomit, and Tenacious Diaz. That's funny. I liked that. Uh, I kind of wanted to do it again, but I think I'm going to keep moving on. But yeah, uh, just to finish my point before we get embroiled in the plot, I only have time for like one or maybe two games like Warframe, Warframe, Path of Exile, something like that. And even then, those are probably two of the most holistic ones. The ones that I hate are the ones that are like time sensitive, like, you know, hop on every day for the for the booster and grab the whatevers. And it's like, I guess Warframe does do that too. Um, and Pot... I don't think Path of Exile does. But like, I don't have the time or the money or the interest in like playing all of those. Whereas like, Doom... I'm going to get, you know, maybe 12, 15 hours out of this game, tops, and then I'm going to put it away and I'm going to feel really good about it. I had the same thing with God of War. I'm like, all right, I'm done with this game. I feel very good about it. Don't make me, like, don't keep trying to pull me back in with, like, 
micro expansions and stuff. Because, like, that's what I'm afraid of the AAA industry going to. That's why I pretty much don't play EA games anymore, because it's just like, ugh, they just feel weird. Manual security activated. All terminals now accessible. Is that it? Are we good? Oh. I was afraid I was afraid we were gonna get brought into things. Though I get the feeling that these armor pickups are here for my benefit on the way out as opposed to the way in. Oh, hello. So what about Elder Scroll 6? Hell if I know. region of the titan's realm but we'll need to rupture another argent accumulator to create the portal the only accumulator in this sector is in specimen cd 587 <laughs> you're going to have to remove it once you've extracted the accumulator it will become unstable the ruptured casing should cause a rift strong enough to send you back to their world we can determine your point of entry using the tether system I uploaded to your suit. Retrieving the crucible is critical. Without it, we have no way of shutting down the well and closing the hell portal here on Mars. Hello. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh. I guess to follow up on the Elder Scrolls thing, I have no idea what Elder Scrolls is going to do. If Bethesda is smart, uh, if Bethesda is smart, they'll effectively embrace modding as a core platform. Because, um, like, they've kind of always had, like, a, a symbiotic relationship with modding. But, like, I feel like, um, I feel like if Bethesda is really smart for Elder Scrolls 6, the best thing that they can do is make Elder Scrolls 6 a good game on its own but then make the modding as robust as humanly possible. Because uh, the only reason why I have any passing interest in... Um, the only reason why I have any passing interest in... Uh, oh. In Fallout 4 is honestly entirely because... Uh, Entirely because of mods. The everything else just hasn't felt very good to me. Like the the story was boring. The the gameplay was not bad. The performance was atrocious. Like I had to rely on mods to get like a solid FPS in Boston, which just felt wrong. Um, and so like I I feel like uh, every single like mainline Fallout and uh, and Elder Scrolls game should more be a platform for really good modding instead of, like, base games on their own. I know a, a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but, like, those games have insane longevity entirely because they have such a dedicated Demon community around them. Disengaged. Let's see. So what's my opinion on Bethesda Creation Club? I think Bethesda Creation Club is almost an okay idea because, like, I'm actually not against the idea of paid mods. I'm against the idea of paid mods feeding really hard into Bethesda's pocket. Uh, unless, of course, it's it's a mod that they themselves sponsored to be created. And, like, I've looked at the Creation Club mods recently, and they're all bad. And, like, that's kind of the insulting part. If they went through and, like, effectively hired the guy that made uh, the Sim Settlements mod in, um... No, that's the right... wrong one. No, nope, that's the wrong one. Six? Seven? There's the rocket launcher. Thank you. Uh... If they hired the guy that did the Sim Settlements mod, uh, for... Oh. For, uh, Fallout 4. I'm not hitting this guy. Uh, the Sim Settlements mod for Fallout 4. And we're just like, hey, dude, we want to hire you to make, like, an official version of this. 
uh, that we release as like kind of a mini expansion. Okay, I could work with that. You know, if they actually had some skin in the game and actually supported it apart from just being like, here's a mod, you can pay money for it. Oh my god. It's a cult of the weird guide people. They're all identical. They're demonic clones. Here, they're, they're sacrificing what is probably uh, going to be a carrier of their progeny. This is how they breed. This is really creepy. And she just likes to watch. She's cloning holograms. This is like weird uh, Olivia Pierce. Oh, it's the Pierce porn. There we go. Got it. Got in one. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything I'm missing? Some armor back back there. I guess I'm going to go look at it, but still. Press an old Q to show the weapon select screen. I know. I just don't like it. It feels really awkward to me. I don't like the slowdown. I'd rather just press the button. It's just sometimes I miss the key because I'm not paying attention. Uh, let's see. I haven't missed anything, right? No, just a health kit. Uh, health station back there. Hmm. Uh, this counts as a secret, really? Maybe the final boss is the guide guy. I mean, oh, geez. I think I found the rejects. These were the ones that weren't quite inviting enough to their culty propaganda, so they, uh, well, they got thrown into the weird body pit. Do we have anything else? We've got something, like, directly up above. But uh, I think we have to go through this first. Hello. You've sealed off the body pit. Farewell, rejects. But yeah, so that's kind of my opinion on paid modding. If they actually, like, have skin in the game and, like, make good paid mods, I don't mind in the slightest. Oh. Hold on. There's a, uh, there's another section of that. Let's see if I can send the elevator back up. Because, yeah, there's something else down here. But how do I get in here? Hmm. So don't press E. I'm closed in. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Oh. Whoopsie. Yeah, we're looking for the uh we're looking for the lever, which should be in, in this room or in this area somewhere. Uh here on on the left? I'm hearing it ping like I'm near it. It's not spa spam me in the room. We're, lo we're looking for like a legit... Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we were just looking for the lever. Unfortunately, the lever, uh... It blends in extremely well. <laughs> the weird body pit is my favorite vacation spot. <laughs> Gross. Oh, hello. Is this it? Seriously? I'm cool with the fact that we're unlocking extra classic maps, but I keep expecting to find like treasure or like upgrade points, but it's a grand total of not much. All right, whatever. Uh, bleh. But yeah, I'd actually like to see more games um, properly embrace like their modding scene like Bethesda has. I don't really know, like, what games could manage it, because almost nothing has the, like, sandbox potential. There's some indie games. There's actually a lot of indie games that kind of get there, but not a whole lot of triple game, triple A games. I guess they're kind of afraid of people ruining their IP or something by modding them. I don't get it. I kind of do. 
I was kind of rambling about this with Dungreed and how they shut down modding, and I'm like, this is a bad idea, and people are like, they're just protecting their IP, and I'm like, you're not wrong, but, like, mods are so much better for your games than, you know, the, the risk of... of, like, losing control of your product. Because, like, chances are you're never going to lose control of your product here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Stop kicking yourself. Oh, that's great. Funk. I'm still, I mean, obviously I tore off its butt and w hit it with itself, but, like, it still has the energy to t turn around and, like, roar at me. I, I feel like some of the hitting enemies with their own parts animations could have been just a little bit punchier. Like, if I actually, like, sent him flying, like, home run style. Oh, that would be, that would be really cool. I didn't even see that guy. Alright, whatever. I never really use the pistol in this game. This game has a disappointing pistol. It's not bad, and I can understand why people would probably like it, but, like, for me, I like pistols that, like, are almost on par with, uh, every other gun. Destiny has a decent, like, weapon distribution. There's obviously, like, a bit of a hierarchy. Lazarus wave at full charge, ready for activation. This hell wave will redirect the course of mankind. On this day, we make our contribution to their cause. Our salvation lies with them. I pulled you from that tomb in the Cattinger Sanctum for this reason. I know she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks, and I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, you'd be the only thing that could stop them. <laughs> The fact about the original Doom is that one of the co-creators of Doom had to break down a door with an axe to get to the other one. Uh, to get to the other to stop playing the game. That's really funny. My dad actually has stories about that from college. Uh, when video games were first coming out, video game addiction, like, okay, there are still people that get, like, super addicted to games, if not more so. But this is kind of one of those where, like, nobody understood it. So, like, video games were just becoming a thing when my, when my dad was in college. Uh, like, the Atari, so on and so forth, and so, he, like, he had people in his PhD program just utterly sink their futures as a result. This one doesn't lead anywhere. Why is this not on the map? What? I'm confused by this, like, mystery hallway. But yeah, I know the charge shot's supposed to help. But, like, compared to most other weapons, which are still fairly punchy and effective, uh, even when, um... Uh, punchy and effective, even when, uh, not using their alt fire. Uh, pistol? Not so much, though. I don't know. I can see somebody managing to do, like, a high-difficulty all, uh, pure pistol run in this game, but I don't... Whoa, that's a new one. I've never seen that before. But, yeah. I can see somebody doing it, I just would not be one of those people. I can see it being like a giant pain. Okay, so we've got... Secrets up here. How do we get to? Access denied, security station required. So we probably have to get to the security station first? Either that or there's a security station up here that I flipped the switch for. Let's see. This is one of those backup pistols. Weak but infinite ammo, not like Halo. And yeah, see, I, I wish it was just a Halo pistol. No, my pancake meatballs. Oh, hey. This is what happens we, when you eat pancake meatballs. You turn into one. Look at him. You got meatballed. Pretty hard. I like how they all have the exact same face. Just the... Uh, <laughs> they could have varied it just a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that thing. I hope we get to fight some, like, weird demonic robots in the next one. Can I... So there's, like, weird fleshy bits in there. No, I don't think I'm getting through that. Hmm. So where's the security console? I bet we have to progress and then turn back around, maybe? 
I'm just gonna double check, just in case. No. I'm incorrect. Uh, let's see. Oh, hi. We're looking for... It might actually just be up here. Let me guess. There's a gap right here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I passed a vent with the machines. Uh, can I can I get through it? There we go. Hey, more ammo. And bits. Yeah, I was probably looking directly at this thing. Just didn't even pay attention. All right, last one. Armed with a Gauss cannon, using only the resources found in the area, eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Health levels are critical. Targets will not drop resources when destroyed. Okay, nine kills. I believe in myself. I believe I can do it. <sighs> yeah, this challenge is hard. Oh, goody. Yeah, one HP. Oof. Sorry? Okay. I gotta watch out for the pinky. There we go. Yeah, just play very carefully and ignore the timer and we're good. Yeah, just the love tap could kill me. Luckily, I'm really good with Ga Gauss cannons. It's just one of those that if you get, uh, if you get surrounded, if you get anything, like, on your side and you don't hear them coming, it would wreck you. Anyway, the circle is complete. And we've got every we've got every challenge. Oh, we get some more ammo. Sweet. Thanks. Not that I really needed it. <laughs> Watch Wander ace this on the first try. Called it. Uh -huh. I'm actually I don't know. I'm 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 kind of good at games sometimes. Uh where are we even Oh, I bet we're just supposed to go up. This entire like lower nope, nope. We're supposed to go in here. And then we drop, then we drop down into that weird, weird horror pit. There we go. There's the answer. Hello. Let's see if I can get them to spawn while I'm still up here. That'd be nice. We don't have anything on this pit, right? Yeah. In fact, I've found every secret and done every challenge. All right. I love it when that happens because that, that just means I can do whatever I want. Safe levels. Lockdown in effect. Well, I hear them. I bet I'm going to walk through this and it's going to be a giant pain. Let's switch to the fun gun. Hello. Maybe I shouldn't have switched to this gun. But that's okay. I have no sense of am ammo conservation. Because I don't care. Do you know how much chain gun ammo I'm carrying right now? I am loaded with this stuff. I probably should have switched to something a bit faster. How are you still alive? I don't get it. Did I kill him? I have no idea if I killed him or not. And there goes our quad damage. Oops. That was an explosive. Uh, oh, I have the wrong mod. Right, because I just, I just got it. I was trying to do the, uh, stun blast. I don't know if that counted or not. Taking a lot of damage here. I should probably go back to taking this semi-seriously. Hello, Pinky. Where am I? I'm in a bad spot. Whoa! Okay. Hello! That's... You're not the right one. God damn it. You're the right one! Thank you. That's the good stuff. Oh, you're still alive. Hello. 
That's that's fine. I'm doing okay. Did I kill the big guy? I killed the big guy. Everything happened. Hey, some gasoline. Whew. Yeah, that's what I get for trying to be tricksy with uh, my tricks. Oh, hey. And I could have easily gotten that. Uh, oh, that's that's the crate I came in with. Let's grab all the uh, the loot and equipment that I totally ignored. I'm hoping for a little bit more gasoline. Yeah, I didn't mean to cut down the little guy. I, then I just kind of did. Man, I could have actually used quite a number of various tricks in this one. <laughs> yeah, look at all these power-ups that I just totally ignored. Oh, well. uh, let's see. Where am I? Where am I headed for? Up. Actually, judging by this, we're done. Well, haste. Get me out of here. Ooh, hi. We have some more health. Bunch of armor. Should probably switch away from the uh, chainsaw. You ever guys, do you guys ever get like a crumb on your keyboard and it's just infuriating? This would just happen to me. I don't like it. It's not you a good will need feeling. To rip out the Argent accumulator powering the Cyber Demon. Destabilizing the core will cause a rift that will send you back to hell. Once the Crucible is in your possession, we will pull you out. Hey, you. Ooh. I am actually maxed on an ammo for that. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Well, only one thing to do. Waste one. Be nice if I could increase my ammo capacity on those. Now, do we actually have a fight here, or is that the next level? So what's with the name Cyber Demon? I mean, I guess it's got a thing in it. Ah, uh, it's got a cannon on song. Oh shit, this thing actually has a health bar. How about that? I don't know why I'm using the rocket launcher necessarily for this thing. Oh. He's got like a flame sword move that goes along the ground. kind of cool. I guess honestly the rocket launcher does a fair amount of damage. There we go. Okay, so this thing's out. Uh, let's see what do I have next. Do I have rockets? Yeah, I do. Rockets! So many rockets! I'm gonna kill you with missiles. I mean, he's using missiles against me. It feels like it's only fair. I wonder if I can use the chainsaw against him. Probably not. Alright, uh, what do we have next? Fun gun? Nope, fun gun's out of ammo. Whoops. I will just dap missiles. God, I love the fact that I have the, uh... Let's see. Well, we do have the BFG. Ow. Well, fine. Oh, there we go. Uh, I, can I? There we go. Hello! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Gross. I can see your bits. No! Ammo! I want that ammo! You know the lore about this guy. He needs the urgent reactor in his chest to survive. Ah! Huh. No, I don't think he does. Oh. Freaking... Great. Ow. Oh, that one hurt. That one hurt real bad. Yeah, I'm not avoiding his hits particularly well. I'm dying real hard. Those ammo, ammo pickups are... I'm dead. 
Yeah, I was not quite, uh, I was not quite ready for that. We'll be fine this second time around. I was just like, oh, oh, I suddenly, I'm low on ammo. I've wasted all of my good, good shots on the first part of this. Anywho, let's try this again. Switch the plasma. Yeah, part of my problem is my baseline reaction to anything is to, to, to just double jump like crazy. And that's not necessarily a good option. Oh, I'm out of juice for everything. Uh, except for the super shoddy. That's concerning. Okay. Huh. Okay, I stunned him again. Thank you, Super Shoddy. Yeah, we actually seem to have stunned him out of the, um... We seem to have stunned him out of one of his phases there, which is kind of nice. Because, yeah, this guy's a, uh... This guy's a toughie. Can, can you give me your face? Thank Are Are we... Are we do... Hello? I, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do to that? I'm very confused. Unless I'm supposed to like... There we go. I don't... Okay. That's fine. I was mashing, I was mashing the button. But whatever. I mean, we're okay. It's just kind of, you know, a little... Off-putting. Hey, we're still on the same map as the previous one. Anyway. Or, the previous areas. You think the, you'd hide the rest of the mini-map, but I guess it's, eh, whatever, we're fine. I think it might have been too close, weird. I was pretty far away from him. You mean, I didn't get the combat, the final combat one. Really? I thought I was actually doing pretty well. Oh, maybe I didn't use enough power-ups.